What is up? It's your boy and you're bringing to you as a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today, we're gonna be talking about why I actually don't off-road my new truck. So I've been getting a lot of the same questions. Aang, when are the mods coming? Um, after the headlight installation, I'm gonna hold off. Okay, I need some time to recuperate. Number two, when are you gonna off-road this truck? As you know, the last truck that I had it wasn't long, actually, before I took it off-road and absolutely beat it up. So the TRD Sport that I had was like my entry to off-roading, I guess you could say. I saw a bunch of videos online that intrigued me very, very much, and I thought that that was the life that was cut out for me. So I'm going to insert some clips now of me off-roading that truck. <laughs> Today's video, we're gonna be talking about a couple reasons why I don't plan on off-roading this one, but sometimes I get a bug where I'm just like, well, for 100 likes, I'll destroy my truck. Ooh. No, but in all seriousness, sometimes I do get a bug and I just really wanna do something. I'm hoping I don't get that anytime soon with this truck. I'm sure everyone has their reasons as far as, you know, why they do or why they don't off-road their trucks. Me personally, my number one reason is this thing is too expensive. $40,000 on a Toyota Tacoma. If you're a big baller, it doesn't seem like much, but I'm not a big baller. That's a lot of money to spend on a weekend warrior. Not only did I spend $40,000 on this truck, but also if you really wanna get into some serious off-roading, you're only gonna be spending more and more money because there's always gonna be more mods that allow you to do more, but also things are gonna break causing more and more money. So it's just a very expensive hobby, uh, which I'm not cut out for. Some people will spend like 45,000 on a truck and then add like $20,000 in mods and absolutely destroy it. And I mean, more power to you, but me, no, I just can't. You know, SR5, poor man's truck. You already know this. Number two is probably my biggest gripe about it is all the hidden damage. Now call me crazy, but I feel like the color has a big part to play with this. My quicksand, I had no problem scratching it up. This Voodoo Blue though, I feel awful whenever I scratch it. What are you talking about? And get to the point. So when I had my last truck, I had pinstripes from here all the way to San Antonio. No, I'm kidding. I had scratches from the front to the back. What really got me is I had scratches all on the windows. Like I'm talking deep, deep scratches that you couldn't do nothing about unless you wanted to buy a whole new window. And uh, again, not cut out for that life. Also underneath the truck, it would get beat up. There was multiple times where I was off-roading, having a blast. And then all of a sudden, there was a bang, and that bang ended up to bruises underneath the truck. Now, if this was a $20,000 truck, and I bought it for the purpose of off-roading, then it wouldn't be bad. But I bought this truck as my daily, as a YouTube vehicle, so I feel like if I just absolutely obliterate it, well, that lifespan is going to be significantly reduced. Number three, number three, it's just not built for it. I know the Tacoma is very capable, and it's extremely off-roady, but for the trails around me, it is not built for it. I wish, I wish there was trails like this. Just gravel, just a little bit of dirt, maybe some dips, I'm all for it. But the trails that I have gone on, the only two trails around me, if you're in Virginia and you know about these trails, you know I'm not lying. Peters Mill Run and then Flagpole Knob. Now, Peters Mill is very narrow. If I go into a narrow spot, I'm cutting it up really bad. Also, it's not as tall as I would like it to be because there was many parts when I was off-roading in that trail that I wish I was taller, and since I wasn't, scrapey scrape, scrape, scrape. I understand that the truck can take the abuse, I just wouldn't rather not put it through the abuse. As of right now, it's just not built for it. I do get the urge to just drive on some dirt. Like, who doesn't? I think that's the five-year-old in us. Just the trails that I have available to me. One, are like super far away. Two, they're not stock Tacoma friendly. Alrighty, and my last and final reason as far as why I don't really want to take this truck off-roading is it's not that fun. Okay, let me ask you a question. Why do you go off-road? Some people go to get to the trailhead, it may be a pond, it may be something super beautiful. Some people just like to drive. Some people just like the whole experience of it, right? Waking up, getting your stuff ready, heading out to the trail, conquering the trail, and then heading home. I'm a really big fan of off-roading to get to a certain point. Now that was like my fascination, like I get this truck so I can go places where no one else can go and see things that not many people can see. At least the two off-roading trails that I have lead either to a road or lead to a mountain that you can't see anything. Literally, this is all you see. But in reality, it's not all that crazy. I know, I get it, I'm a street princess, 
I'm a pavement queen, call me what you want. I remember the first time I was off-roading, I was having a blast. Like it was the funnest, the coolest, most amazing thing in the whole entire of world, okay? For like 30 minutes. 30 minutes of driving at like two miles an hour, worried not to damage your truck. It just wasn't as fun. So I've lost the interest of off-roading. I really want to build this to be more of a street princess, more of a pavement queen. So I may have just lost all my subscribers. What am I doing? Actually, now I'm genuinely curious. Why do you go off-road? Is it for the adventure? Is it for the thrill? Is it for an endpoint? Is it for fishing? But if you don't off-road, why? Why is it that you don't off-road? I think we all can agree spending forty, fifty thousand dollars on a truck just to go out and abuse it is absolutely crazy. The time that I went off-roading, this guy had like a seventy thousand dollar Denali behind me. Big truck lifted on like 35s, absolutely destroyed it. He had some money in his pocket and then like two weeks later he traded it, but gosh, I don't know. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. It's been your boy. I'm out of like an Audi. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Peace. Yes, my nose is extremely stuffed. I am so sorry, but I'm super sick.